Hello everyone, and I am a little irritated. Alright, so I basically recorded for 20 minutes. I made my hat, and I recorded for 20 minutes, except for I wasn't recording. I was basically just talking, I was demonstrating, and doing all kinds of neat stuff. Alright, so the long of the short of it is, I ended up letting this guy run overnight. I managed to make another two stacks of UU Matter, two stacks and like 30-something, and I hopped on and put them to use. I made myself some uh, irradiant uranium, uh, uh, irradiant uh, uh, cinerarium, I should say. I finished making all the cinerarium that I needed, uh, and yeah, so I'm a little irritated. Um, I still have some UU Matter left over. Obviously, I think I ended up picking up, like, another couple out of the machine, like, 12. Um, my hat is pretty fantastic. It's charging, as you can see right here. So, uh, the energy level is increasing. It's, uh, it's pretty fantastic. Um, again, all that I really was lacking was just the enriched cinerarium. So, I made my enriched cinerariums once I had enough UU. I made all of those. Um, they were... Uh, a total of 32 had to be made of the irradiant, cinerar uh, irradiant uranium, so that way I could make 8 of the cinerariums. Um, kinda sucked. It was really, really expensive, a lot more expensive than I was originally anticipating. But I am... I'm just so disappointed and irritated now at this point, because I was actually expecting that I was recording all that, and then I'm like, okay, well how long have I been going? I look down at my X split and it's not recording. So apparently, if I hit the record button and it does the little blink like it's recording, it doesn't mean that it's recording. It just means that it's deciding that it should have started recording. Right now, I can see that it's recording. I'm watching it not drop frames. That's good. Yeah, I'm at frame 39, 86, 40, 17, 40, 47. Yeah, I'm a little. I'm a little miffed about that. That's really, really stupid. I'm very ticked off, and I don't want to say <laughs> I don't want to say how mad I am, but I am pretty freaking mad. Um, yeah, so this this solar helmet is pretty cool, as you can see. It's got a little solar cell on top of it, and obviously it, it's pretty dorky, but it's uh, it's charging the backpack really quickly. It charges the shoes, chest. Uh, Pants. I mean, it's going to charge everything. Once this finally hits max capacity, that's going to charge. When I popped over into the Densor world, I basically just dug a 2x2 two two sh hole straight down to bedrock uh, using the Vajra, and I was demonstrating that I was still gaining charge on my backpack, even though I was completely dumping it with my Vajra. So that's uh, that's pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, I can't even remember what all I was saying in the previous episode. I know that I was about to get into work on Gravity Chestplate, and I was like, how long have I been recording? Oh, look, I've I've been recording none. So I'm really ticked off about that. That's really disappointing to, uh, to put in all this effort, all this commentary, and then all of a sudden it's not even there. And I'm like, oh, my God. There's no way I can undo making the hat. The hat was, like, perfect. I don't want to take the resources back out of the hat or then go back to the other world and do things because then I'll have to, like, cheat things around. I've been doing good so far without having to do any of that crap, and now I'm having to consider it because I was recording and it didn't actually take. I suppose that's, uh, software problems for you. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a, uh, transformer that we're going to require for the machine itself. Um, it looks like I needed uh, some uh, insulated cable. Oh, I'm, I'm like completely thrown off here. This is so disappointing. <sighs> Let's get another one of these. Oh, I just, I just feel bad. I feel so bad. I really shouldn't feel this bad, but I feel awful because this is this is such a pain. Why? Why does it? Why did it decide to do this to me? This is this is stupid. Let's throw these into here and get some refined iron out because I look like I'm I'm basically out. Oh my god! I'm not even bringing the commentary now. It was brought. I'm so upset. Just. 
Oh my god. I have to take a moment here. Son of a... This is... All right, all right. Let's 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 stay on topic. All right, so we're going to make ourselves the gravity chest plate next. I have the helmet, as you can see. It used all the resources that I previously had, all my superconductors. Um, this one's going to require a couple extra things that I haven't made before, and I don't think I've I've done anything quite similar to them. And that's the cooling cores. Now, the cooling cores are a little different. These guys require liquid transposers and a, a coolant cell. Um, or I, th I think you actually have to make them slightly differently. Like, let's see, 30k coolant cell is 10k coolant cell, which is a regular water bottle surrounded by 10. So it's just up in the ante each time kind of deal. So as you can see, 30k, and then we take that and we make it into a 60k like that. Dense copper plate. Okay, looks like I've got quite a few steps to go through for this guy which that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and make our superconductor. So we're going to need a total of, that produces three right there. Each one of those is two. So four, six, and that makes three. I need some for right there, two for right there, two for right there. That's uh, four, six, I already have that. Don't need anything for that. I already have that and that. So I'll need six total superconductors, meaning I need two craftings of it, meaning I need two, four, uh, eight total iridium plates, and I need uh, 12 carbon plates. I have plenty of carbon plates there. I'm also going to need advanced alloys. I don't think I have enough advanced alloys. Let's make a couple more advanced alloys. I do know I have refined iron right here. But I, I always need more of that stuff, so I'm just going to go ahead and make more. That's fine. Oh my god, I'm so disappointed. I mean, you guys... You guys know I sound disappointed, but you just don't know how disappointed I am. This is... This is this feels like major setback. That I couldn't record that for you guys. Or, or I did record it, and it wasn't actually recording. And that feels so awful. I know, I was just speaking about... Uh, the fact that I was now partnered and I'm now getting all these amazing benefits and I should be able to do better things, better collaborations, better videos for you guys in the very, very, very near future. And I'm still waiting on the uh, the feedback from that. I might have the feedback by the time this video goes live, but I currently do not. And this, this feels so ridiculously unprofessional to have something like that happen where it's like, oh yeah, don't, don't have it. Don't have it. I just recorded it. No, I didn't major setback. I guess I need to always make sure I'm checking every time that I actually uh, hit my record button to make sure that I do have in fact something recording. Just a uh, word from the wise I suppose. Alright, so let's go ahead and make our cables. I guess I don't really need that many. I'll just make one. And then this guy gets double insulated for a 4x. Just do that again. There we go. Alright, and we'll take these guys out, like so. One and two. So I need a, 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 a circuit. Come on, let, let's not lose wind. Let's not lose the wind beneath our sails here. Oh, I'm so disappointed. Oh. It's like everything is just stopped, and I am just in pain over it. Okay, okay, we're gonna stay on focus here, I'm making ourselves a medium vol a uh, medium voltage to high voltage reactor here, or a uh, transformer here. We have a. I can talk. I can talk. We already have our lap pack, our HV transformer, and our quantum suit body armor. We're gonna make ourselves some superconductors here, which are gonna require glass fiber cables, gold ingots. And uh, obviously uranium, uh, uh, the iridium plates. Uh, now these guys, one and two and one and two and one 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 two 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 and there's some glass fibers up there and some gold. That's not it. Oh right, right. I gotta, I gotta make the step in between. There we go. And this makes ourselves some superconductor sleeves. 
do those and that and there we go we have three of the superconductors we need to make one more crafting of that so that means we need a little bit more iridium plating so that's uh, another four iridium another four of those and a couple diamonds as you can see I obviously didn't quite make enough iridium uh, <laughs> Despite last episode being like, oh my god, I, I overcounted so hard, and now uh, I'm obviously going to end up using all this stuff anyway. Uh, oh yeah, they do go in the corners. I have done this before, I swear I have. There we go, we have another four plates. Do one, two, one, two. And now we need our three across the mid here. And advanced alloys in the corners. Uh, which is why I was creating some more over here. Are they processed yet? Not all of them, but uh, most of them. One, two, one, two, one, two, and two. There we go. All right, so now we have another six superconductor sleevings, or covers, whatever they're, they're called, in fact. Place in our there and there, and we have six, which should be the total quantity that we require for the gravity chest plate. Four there, and then two per. Oh no, I need eight. Darn it! Darn it! Okay, okay. Well, make some more. Not a big deal. Not a uh, super huge deal. Uh, I just made one there. We'll go ahead and make another a seven. So that'll give me fourteen total plates and I should be able to work fine with that bronze da -da, seven also need to get into production of the other boogers the don't know if you can hear that there's a bird tweeting outside pretty loudly hopefully that's not copyrighted because apparently people can have uh, bird sounds copyrighted uh, actually I overmade there because I ended up shift clicking it used all my tin but that's okay, 32 max metal ingots. I can still manage to use that stuff regardless whether or not I actually need it. Sorry, I had to bend away from the microphone there because I needed to scratch my neck. All right, move stuff around a little bit. Uh, da -da -da -da. I'm going to need some more carbon plates. I think I've already produced coal dust, though. I should already have some coal dust. Yes, I do have coal dust. need at least one more carbon plate, but uh, this stuff also has to go through the uh, compressor. Just kind of kind of sucks, but uh, them's the breaks. Um, I'm going to have to wait on those guys, or I suppose I could uh, cheat a little bit and just steal the overclockers out of this and throw them into here because I didn't really need to make multiple, multiple overclockers. Just do that. We already should have some water cells as well. Uh, I don't know where I've put them, but I know I have them. Uh, there we go. Water cells. We'll go ahead and take those. We'll start making our coolants. Uh, let's see here. Da -da -da -da. Uh, we were making another four superconductors, so that's the thing. Uh, we also need to make cooling cores, Tesla coils. Tesla coils, I'll need eight of those. Oof. Oof. That kind of sucks, because it's one, two, three, four, and, uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to need more copper wire, because I have to be able to make plenty of, uh, Plenty of the boogers, the, uh, the, the, oh my goodness, I am at a loss for words today every time I try and open my mouth. Have to be able to make plenty more, uh, insulated copper cables, that way I can make more circuits, that way I can make more Tesla coils. It's relatively self-evident, I suppose. It should be self-evident. That's, that's the thing. Alright, so there we have ourselves some copper cables. Let's go ahead and, uh, get these guys into other things here. I'll place that there. Place those there. Uh, I need eight total. I'm going to go ahead and take all that stuff back out. Take that out. And I'm going to need more redstone too. Should have plenty of redstone. Oh, definitely have tons of redstone. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Tesla coils. What else did I need? Redstone and mole. Medium voltage transformers. Of course, I need medium voltage transformers. So I'm going to need eight of those, uh, meaning more of t -t machine blocks as well as gold insulated cables. Now, I do have a couple more gold insulated cables already sitting here. Um, do I have any machine blocks? I does not, but I do have those coming through now. Uh, let's have a look. That's still got four to go. 
All right, well, we'll go ahead and start making some cables then with gold. Um, how many gold cables am I going to need? Uh, insulated gold cable, double X insulated gold cable. Medium voltage transformer requires a double X, doesn't it? Oh my god, i got to make high voltage transformers for each of these two. Oh, this is just hurting my head. Hurting it so bad. Okay, so it is double X. Go ahead and split those. Do that. And we'll make some of these. Uh, where's my refined iron? There we go. I can make five blocks here. I need to make more than that. But uh, let's five. Don't have any more refined iron, do I? Do I, I do. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I was like, gonna need one right there, but I think I already produced that, didn't I? I did already produce that. I'm gonna need another two though for those. So I need ten total. Yeah. Them's the brakes on this one. Alright, and there's six of those. Gotta make more. Let's split up the uh, gold here to make some more cabling. Let's scratch my shoulder. Just go ahead and make 24, that's fine. And rubber. Gonna look like I'm gonna need more rubber here soon enough, too. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, don't think I have any more rubber sitting in my rubber box, do I? Uh, that is my rubber box. I do not have any more rubber sitting in my rubber box. Let's take out my tree tap. Go out here and tap some trees really quickly and get those processing. As you can see, these are quite obviously some of the highest tier things you could possibly be able to make inside Minecraft FTB. It'll basically be like end game. This is this is pretty much the pinnacle moment of uh, FTB series. Is when you can make the gravity chest plate. You're basically impervious to damage. You can fly. You have nigh limitless energy so long as you are wearing your helmet and you are above ground. It's uh, it's gonna make things basically in game, so I can go and uh, I can do Twilight Forest. I can do all the bosses there, provided I can find the bosses. I could do uh, the Wither. I could do basically everything. I think I should be able to basically find everything. Uh, I need to really get to finishing that uh, spawner. I can always just replace the uh, spider spawner that I destroyed with uh, absorbing it with a soul shard, but I could always just go ahead and grind out the rest of the Endermen. That'll take forever, but I could do it. Uh, it'd be easier if I had access to the end, and that was kind of the point in me making a uh, Enderman spawner, was the fact that I wanted more Ender, Ender Pearls, that way I could make some uh, Eyes of Ender and find my way to the end portal. But uh, it looks like I'm just going to have to deal without having the end portal quite yet. And there we go. Alright, let's head back inside leave my door open because I'm not really worried about stuff coming in I'm uh, I'm pretty well pretty well secured in here everything is super super bright let's go ahead and toss these guys into our extractor right here so we have 35 sticky resin that's gonna be a uh, triple that once it's produced uh, let's see how is our refinements going da -da -da, we have more of those available did I have any I did not have any of that processing uh, let's toss in some more iron to process uh, another four stacks. So we'll just toss one in there and then go iron, iron, iron. Very good. Uh, we are also needing to compress those uh, coal things. Did I already? Oh, no, I did not already do them. So we'll take this mesh, make it into that there. Really need a place to store this stuff better than just the chest beside it. And we'll toss these guys in here for the compressor to go ahead and go through. Very good. Very, very good. We have six of those. We need uh, another four more, which it looks like I have enough to make those right there. Very nice. Um, let's go ahead and see for Tesla coils. Obviously, refined iron of two of those. Redstone across the top. Looks like I might be able to make some of this stuff right now if I go ahead and claim some of the uh, refined iron that's coming through. Carbon plate came through as well. It's very good because I needed that six carbon plate. All right, so let's go ahead and start making some Tesla coils. Those guys there, we put in that at the bottom. So it looks like we have just enough to make our eight right off the bat here. Very, very cool. And uh, I don't need that. Just do that. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight Tesla coils. Now these guys used to be quite deadly. Uh, I remember the first time I actually saw one demonstrated was in a uh, Yogg's cast video uh, where uh, I think it was Duncan was protecting his house from uh, Shin, possibly? Lana? Lana is Duncan. I, I don't remember. They have so many names and aliases in that series. Um, but he was protecting his house and he put one out in front of his front door and it was basically one-shotting everyone that came in that came through his uh, into his yard, which he also had a I believe a terraformer that made everything look super wild and overgrown. I would put in one of those because they make a really cool area, but I love how nice and neat my area is currently. It's all nice and illuminated. Nothing spawns next to my house. Occasionally I'll get an Enderman inside when it's raining, but other than that, it's pretty pretty peaceful. It allows me to uh, build up my, my empire here. All right, we're going to need to make ourselves some superconductors. Looks like I already have those. Uh, Tesla coils already have those done. Uh, we need another two HV transformers. Uh, so those guys themselves are the uh, 4X insulated cables, electronic circuit, and an energy crystal. Let's go ahead and make ourselves another two energy crystals. And then we'll uh, take some refined iron and make those into the cables of which we need. Uh, my refined iron right there. Two of those. Uh, surround it with rubber. Get some rubber out. Looks like my rubber's starting to collect in, which is great because I'm out of rubber. Sadly, one of the most basic things you can possibly be able to make in uh, FTB is one of the things that I am the shyest on. I'll just collect one of those because I don't really need the two. Did I already use the uh, the previous batch there? I did not, which is good. Okay. Got to put those there. That's a single. That's a double. And go ahead and make four of those just because 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 uh, and we are going to make ourselves actually I need to uh, I need to slow my roll for a second here and make another pair of the circuits so we'll do this uh, refined iron one two don't pick up the bronze darn it I just made three. Oh well Alright, well there we go. Uh, we have those, we'll put in those, we'll split these, and we'll put in one of those to make that, and another one of those to make that. Now we have three medium voltage transformers, very very good, or high voltage transformers, excuse me, which is actually how much we needed. We're gonna need cooling cores next. Now I need four 60Ks, and each 60K is made up of smaller Oh my goodness, excuse me. Smaller units of uh, double 30Ks, and each 30K is made up of 10Ks, and each 10K is a 10 surrounding a regular water bottle. So we'll put up our water cells there. Uh, let's grab some tin. Tin also seems to be a relatively rare resource inside FTB. Uh, the reason being, I think, is just because I end up mining at such a low level, and tin has a tendency to not like appear at the lowest levels. Oh, I can't stack these? That's going to make things annoying. Alright, I'm going to need at least two 30Ks to make a 60K. Uh, how many 60Ks do I need? Uh, I need four. That's fantastic. Let's make things as complex as possible. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, stash everything back in here. <laughs> because, as you can no doubt see, that this is going to take quite a bit of inventory space to be able to produce properly. Uh, so we're just going to just move everything back in here for the time being. Still have Cinerarium. I should actually go ahead and incorporate that Cinerarium into a uh, another uh, solar panel up top side. That'd be pretty nice, pretty sweet. All right, so that's three. That's uh, 10k, 30k, 30k, 30k. I need multiple 30ks, obviously. This kind of sucks that I have to make this row by row like this because they don't stack. All right, each line here is a 60k, meaning I've got uh, two, one, two, three 60ks. So it'll be a fourth 60k, and that'll allow me to make one coolant cell, which is pretty ridiculous. Um, all right, and just collect all this stuff back out. 
which I obviously don't have enough room for. Let's toss some of the tin back in. Very good. All right, we'll take that and we'll put that in there. Also going to need some copper compressed into plates, so we're going to stick those in here. Watch those roll through. That'll give me eight plates. Um, I don't think I need that many, do I? Uh, heat capacity plates. Yeah, I'll need some of those plates. I also need some reactor plating, which is advanced alloy and copper plates. So yeah, I'll just go ahead and toss that whole lot in there because those will produce through and give me some dense copper plates. All right, so for these basic level cooling cells, we needed uh, 10Ks, which also require 10. Go figure. 10 on top of 10. It's a 10 -ception. Go ahead and place these guys in here, like so. And one, and two, and three. And if I could stack these, I'd put them up in here, but it looks like I'm not going to be that lucky. So I have to move all these individually. Kind of stinks. It really slows down everything, of course, and makes it take that much longer, especially doing this by hand. So That's the brakes, I suppose. And I'm going to have to do this a second time, because obviously there is a uh, another coolant core to be made. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa two coolant cores. I'm going to have to make four of these. Four coolant cores. This is insane. Once I make one, I'm just going to uh, screen cut until I get to my second one. Because this will take literally all day. I don't need to just buffer content for you guys. I literally want to show you what's required and you can just see the pain that's going on right here at how tedious this can be. Alright, there we go. That's four, uh, eight I should say. Eight, and that's gonna each end up going into 60Ks. 60Ks take two per, so obviously eight has been been produced here. We need 10 in dense copper plates at this point. So we'll run down here, grab some copper plates, go back over here, take out another stack of copper, throw that into the compressor as well, because I'm gonna need some more copper plates. Uh, let's see, that was on the sides this time. I don't know why I'd split that like that but uh, that's what I did. And two of those copper plates in the mid, 60k, 60k. Now this is all for the dispersion of heat. I assume that it's like, oh yeah, we gotta have proper coolant to uh, properly disperse heat that's going into these guys. Cooling cell, okay, we've got all those. Now we just need our uh, doodads here, which is reactor plating and advanced alloy. Do I still have any advanced alloy left? I do quite have advanced alloy. This guy done processing? It is. Wow, that is actually kind of quick. It's uh, convenient how quick it is, actually. Alright, so we're waiting on the remainder of these guys to come through. Looks like I was waiting on uh, eight, I think. So it should be receiving eight. There we go. Alright, run back over here. We have our 60k coolant cells produced here. Uh, next, we have to make an into cooling cores which require heat capacity thingies which require reactor plating and other good neat garbage. I'll take all that back out. Uh, right here we gotta make reactor plating. So that's two of those should be. And then another two of those with two of those for two of these. The uh, heat capacity reactor plating which are used on the two sides here. I also have to have the iridium plate in the middle, as you can obviously see. Oh my goodness gracious. This is nuts. Absolutely nuts. And I am, of course, still recording, aren't I? Thank God it is still recording, because I would probably just be like, yep, series over. <laughs> I, I lost the feed twice. Just, Just end it. End it all now. Also, I only had six of those made. I needed another couple, didn't I? Yeah, I needed like four more. That sucks. That really sucks. This is uh, this is this is becoming that really intense labor here to be able to make this one little guy. And of course, I don't remember what it is. Every time I close it, I'm like, oh yeah, I need that. I need that. I'm gonna need some active heat exchangers, obviously. Um, active heat exchangers. Uh, those guys. I already have the heat. Capacity reactor plating is very good. Heat exchangers, which 
require heat exchangers, which require that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, I guess we start here at a basic level. Um, t tell you what, I'm just gonna make just gonna make a lot of circuits here. Let's, let's do this. Let's do this, because this is nuts. Need more rubber, because I obviously don't have enough. All right. How many circuits do I need here? All right, one and two means I need. Uh, wrong thing to click on. Let's just go to this directly every time. One, two, uh, which means I need four total between that and then another two on each. So it's eight total. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Okay, seven, that's fine. I don't care. Um, we'll assume that's correct and just go about our business. All right, so we have seven. All right, uh, just click on that initially. Thank you. Okay, we need glass fiber cables, which I do have some of those, but I don't have very many. I only have eight on hand. Looks like that'll be enough to make one unit here. Uh, we're going to need ten to surround the things. Looks like I already have ten on hand. Put that up there. Put that in the mid. Surround the bottom with ten. Not quite like that, but like that. Heat exchangers, I need... Uh, four of those. One, two. Oh, these don't stack either. Fantastic. Two, three, and four. Brilliant. All right, and then we surround these guys up into here. Uh, looks like copper plate becomes like the centric item here. Two of those. And two of these. Is this just for one exchanger? Advanced exchanger? Yeah, it is. Okay, so I need two of these in, me in, in actual production here, which kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. Okay. Well, that means I need another electronic circuit, so I wasn't wrong in overproducing. Meaning I need more rubber. Meaning I need more. Uh, there is more rubber in here. That's fine. Okay, I'm, I'm in less dire straits than I thought I was. Let's eat some bread. Oh my god, I'm getting so dehydrated from this cast. This is a uh, this is a marathon right here. I need copper cables. Oh my god, I'm dying here. I'm literally dying. This is physically exhausting. I suppose some people would be like, well, if you're you're actually experiencing this much duress from it, you should probably just quit. But I cannot quit. I've come so far, worked so hard. In the end, it's it's. Still not going to matter, but you know I'll actually have clear conscience that I made all this from scratch. This unbelievably epic, high-end piece of manufacturement here. Uh, manufacturement, I don't think that's a word. Um, I need more refined iron. Uh, we'll make like another four of these, because I don't know. I need one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, five. Five will be fine. Put that up there. That's and that. And that's that, 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 and that. Five. Perfect. There we go. Spinning far too far as I spin around. Alright, we're just going to toss one of those up there. In the corners, I believe, our 60k coolants go. No, uh, I'm forgetting already. This is the. Uh, the non-advanced. This this is making the advanced that allows me to make the other. Uh, we'll go ahead and lay out everything here so I can make two of these because you know it's just that important that I make two of these. These guys don't stack either, wouldn't you know it. Alright, then I need iridium plate which means I need diamond and uh, iridium obviously. One, two, three, four. Oh my goodness. This is this is insane. This is absolutely insane. I don't know who thought up all of this stuff. I'm sure I could just point the finger at the mod developer for making wanting to make things really, really intensely, impressively difficult, but I suppose it, it does add a bit of depth to the final product of the game, and I, I guess you can't really blame them for that. 
But personally, this is this is a tad overkill because you've just seen me blow through all these resources. It's a lot of copper and tin, to be fair. And that just made one cooling core. One cooling core. i got to make two of those before I can make one of these. All right. So this episode has been extremely draining, aside from the fact that I had already known that I lost footage of me making a hat. I've started work on the chest plate, and I have had to do all this legwork, and it is extremely strenuous. I mean, look at how much tedium this, this was, but we have our first coolant core, which is you know, one half of making a gravitation engine, which is one half of making the chest plate. Oh my god. Alright, well, that is going to do it for me today. Um, I need to go get a glass of water and uh, take a break because I am literally on the verge of having my brain melt out my ears. So once again, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure you leave comments down in the comments section below if, I, uh, if I've completely overlook something that could have made this a lot easier if not uh tune in next time i'm going to do the rest of that off camera because i cannot possibly keep commentary up over something quite that tedious it is uh it was a feet and a half to make it through this one unfortunately sorry to say but yeah all right guys thank you guys so much for tuning in i know i've already said that once but i really mean it it means so much to me every time you guys comment. I always try and comment back on uh, anything that's actually a question or a statement or if I actually need to say something back. I always try to. Be sure you tune in again next time. Hopefully I'll be further along with these gravitation engines. And we will, uh, we will see you guys next time.